This week was an incredibly difficult week for the nation of Israel. Not only the people that live in Israel, but for Jews around the world that we heard the bitter news about the deaths of the three yeshiva students who were abducted nearly three weeks ago. And over the course of the last uh, 18 days, we gathered together in solidarity, coming together in communal prayers around the world and beseeching our Father in Heaven if He would uh, return the boys home safely. Unfortunately, we heard this week the tragic end in which the boys were killed by their abductors and we are a nation now united in grief. We were united in prayer, but now we are coming together and grieving as one people. In this week's Parsha, Bilam, the non-Jewish prophet, looks at the Jewish people and he reflects about the Jews and says, Hain am levadad yishkom. They are a nation that lives in solitude. Indeed, we are a nation that sometimes we feel very alone, especially at moments like this, when these students were killed simply because they were Jews, simply because they were Jews living in the land of Israel. And we have to go ahead and emerge from this, not only uh, together, but stronger. It's a incredibly difficult, and we're very challenged by this, but we must make sure that all the alliances and all the coalitions that existed amongst the Jewish people during this crisis remain strong even afterwards. Why is it that it takes a horrible tragedy of three young men being murdered in a vicious way for us to come together? Why can't we be united even when the days are good? Why does it take something so awful like this for us to come together? Is that not too big of a price to pay for our unity? I think as we go ahead and relive the days of Tammuz and Av, which is the anniversary of the destruction of the Jewish presence in the land of Israel, we must reflect upon this and realize that we are strongest when we are together. And let us not go ahead and have to experience a tragedy in order for us to feel that unity. Folks, it behooves us in this time of crisis to reach across the aisle or across beyond our comfort zones and reach our Achenu B'nai Yisrael, our brothers and sisters of Israel, wherever they may be, and hand in hand be one people with one heart. I wish everybody a wonderful Shabbos.